up? It's Eli Knight, and I'm here with uh, Knight Jiu-Jitsu, of course, but I'm doing this in conjunction with the Budo Brothers. So if you haven't checked out Budo Brothers, this is their logo right there, but check out their channel, uh, Budo Brothers and BudoBrothers.com, and I've got some other, other content dropping with them, like in a few months. This is going to be really interesting. But anyway, this video here is to kind of show some basics of Jiu-Jitsu and some self-defense kind of um, concepts and techniques. So what we're doing um, today is we're addressing um, pins up against the wall. If I get stuck up against the wall, my back is to the wall, and this guy is... Um, you know, he's, he's pinning me somehow or he's attacking me somehow. So we'll take it in a couple different uh, scenarios. So the first one that we'll look at is what if um, from here, and actually there's a video floating around that somebody sent me the other day with this exact one because people are like, that doesn't really happen that often or anything. Um, and it's the exact thing happened and this guy pinned this uh, lady up against the wall one-handed here. Now this could be he's pinning me with this hand because he's gonna punch me with this one or he's pinning me because he's He's holding me like this, but whatever it is, this is a bad situation. So first thing is, anytime that I'm, my neck gets grabbed, I have to toughen my neck. I can't let my neck be too lax. So I'm gonna toughen my neck here like this. I'm gonna bring my hands up. I want this one to go kind of horizontal so that it's like a spear this way. And I want my feet away from the wall a little bit so it allows me a little bit of rotation with my hips and my shoulders. And as I go to do that here, I'm gonna smack this one to the inside of this wrist, this way here to knock that off. And my elbow should be in place here to come back and then hit maybe once or twice to get me off the wall like that. Now, uh, as an extension of this, whenever he's pinning here like this, I can turn and knock this one off. I can come back, hit a couple times. And if his head is available, I can wrap it into this guillotine choke here like this finish the choke standing or sprawl it um, and handle it that way. So it's just like a nice little continuation. Now two hand choke, um, it's gonna be a little different, a little trickier that way, this way here, because I can't really knock from the outside. He's a little too strong there. Um, coming up between the middle might be a little tricky too from here. So um, one that we tend to address like this in Jiu Jitsu is that I'm gonna take both my hands and throw them back on both of his hands like this until I find some finger. Now I don't have a necessarily a finger in mind, but whenever I find a, a finger that's loose, I'm gonna grab it. This way here, I want to peel it away from me. Then I'm going to switch over to grab the base of his wrist to keep his arm stagnant. And then I'm going to reach down like this. I want to try to snap that thing off so that he's not choking me with that any longer. So, so important. Um, so, <laughs> so, so, uh, so again, when we're here like this, so I want to reach up like this here and I'm going fishing with my finger. So I increase my chances of finding that finger that's loose. Once I find one and I get it here, I'll come over and grab the base of the wrist here. and I'm going to peel this finger back toward him and I want to snap down like this. It's not me holding and trying to control him. It's me trying to get rid of that so he's not choking me with that finger any longer. So it's one hand and two hand. Now, um, some other different variations that might happen is like, what if he's grabbing me by material and he's pinning me up against the wall, maybe here like this by my shirt or by my shoulders here like this. Now, um, from here, if he's pinning, typically pins tend to go with a little wider grip than closer grip. Closer grips tend to be more pulling and wider grips tend to be more pushing. So knowing that here, I wanna go up between the hands if the space is available. And I wanna go up here. I wanna try to touch my thumbs up toward the top of my head. My elbow is gonna clear the line of his elbow here like this. And once I clear that, I'm gonna wrap that side here. Once I wrap over the arms nice and tight, I'm going to connect my wrist to my hand and then I want to keep a control above here like this. As I go here, I turn to the side and I want to ram him into the wall this way. So I have these overhooks on him, pressing him into the wall. From here, I can throw knees here like this. I can maybe look for a takedown or I can disconnect, go back to striking and get myself out of the situation if that's the case. So um, <clears throat> uh, one more is what if he has me in a headlock up against the wall? This may happen because one, he may have been trying to run my head into the wall, or he may be trying to smash me up against the wall, or just getting uh, extra balance and leverage for him to squeeze harder. So if this is the case here, I wanna reach around. If I can reach all the way around his arm, great. If not, I'll just go around the lat. Um, I wanna hold this hand here and monitor it at first. So he, if he wants to start punching, I've got this one monitored. Um, this leg here, I'm gonna step around and I'm gonna start to climb this way here. Once I hook here and I start to climb, I wanna push this foot to the floor, my knee extends over, and my hand is gonna to go toward the wall like this. And as I go here, I'm pushing, driving my knee toward the wall here, stretching him out on the side of his body, and stretching this arm here, so hopefully that arm's gonna come off of the headlock. Um, and once I get around to this, I can take this one behind his back here. I'm driving my elbow down here to push his head down toward the floor so that he's got really compromised base and posture. And then from here, I can back up if I need to, I can throw knees from here, or I can maybe go back into that choke we talked about off of that first consideration as well. So these are not um, all encompassing different ways I can be pinned up against the wall, but these are some of the most common ones. One hand choke, two hand choke, grabbing the, the shirt material or grabbing into a headlock. So go back and review these, check them out again, watch them rewind and all that stuff. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, let them let me know in the comment section. And again, keep watching my stuff, but also check out the Budo Brothers, budobrothers.com and the Budo Brothers channel on YouTube. Thank you guys.